हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम नॉन होमोजीनियस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कांस्टेंट कोफिशिएंट हाउ इट इज नॉन होमोजीनियस हाउ कैन आई से दैट इज नॉन होमोजीनियस सो इफ यू विल ओपन दिस ब्रैकेट d स्क्वायर टर्म विल यू विल गेट देन यू विल गेट 4d d डैश थर्ड टर्म यू विल गेट इज 3d now d is 3d you are getting and with that you are getting terms like d square 4d d dash also so because uh, i am showing only few terms let's see d square then you are getting 4d d dash and minus 3d If you look at the first term, degree is two. Second term, degree is two. Third term, degree is one. So two, two, and one, because the degree of each term is not the same. So it is non-homogeneous. Had degree of all the term been same, this was uh, homogeneous. Okay. so this is a simple thing uh, to see now once you have observed that this is a non homogeneous then how to find complementary function because as you can see rhs is zero so pi will not be there so let's uh, understand how to find the complementary function so as you can see two factors are there first one is d plus d dash minus 2 second one is d plus 4d dash minus 3 factors will be like this d minus m d dash minus a or you can say that you have to compare all the factors with this d minus m d dash minus a. okay so if i compare the first factor with this so coefficient of d dash is 1 i have to compare with uh, that with uh, minus m so let's say m1 because two brackets are there so two values of m will come so m1 is minus 1 comparing minus m with 1 okay uh, and what about a1 a1 here is 2 because minus 2 you will compare with minus a similarly looking at the second factor i can say that my m2 is minus 4 because you will compare plus 4 with minus m and your a2 is simply 3 now because you have got this values of m1 a1 m2 a2 this is a one step process to find write the complementary function which is e power a1x so e power 2x f1 y plus m1x so y minus x plus e power m2 uh, e power a2x okay this was e power a1x a1 was 2 this is e power a2x a2 is 3 so e power 3x y plus mx so m is minus 4 so y minus 2. so there i got my complementary function it is just a one step process i will not waste more time on this okay only thing i was telling that find the value of m1 a1 m2 a2 other factors are also there then m3 a3 and simply write your complementary function which is of the form e power ax f1 y plus m1x plus e power a2x f uh, sorry f1 will also come so here f1 f2 will come here and y minus 4x 
this is your complementary function okay now because i have to solve this so z equals to cf plus pi because pi is zero rhs is zero so z equals to cf will be my final solution so e power 2x f1 y minus x plus e power 3x f2 y minus 4x okay this is my final solution i hope you understood this thanks and have a nice day do watch my partial differential equation playlist for more such videos.